and welcome to another online business realm video. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and click the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at the channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about how to read a candlestick chart. So this is the chart for the cryptocurrency NEO, and I've got it pulled up, and I've got it set to two hours. So that means each one of these candles represents two hours. So if you added it all up, this is about a couple days worth of NEO's movement. So you can separate it by minute. You can do one minute, two minute, 10 minute, 15 minute. You can do it by the day or by the week. And then each one of these units will represent the unit that is reflected up here. So right now, we're not going to be worrying about the yellow line. We're not going to be worried about the purple line or the red line. Or we're not even going to be worried about the Satoshis over here. I'm simply going to be showing you how to read the candles. So each one of these candles are very easy to memorize what each stands for. So the wicks are the small lines here, and they represent the high and the low. And that goes for the red or for the green. And the rectangles themselves, or the actual candles... These stand for the opening price and the closing price. So on a green candle like this one, the opening price is the bottom and the top of the candle is the close. So since we have it set to two hours, that means in this two-hour time period, at the beginning of the two hours, this is where it was. And at the end of the two hours, this is where it was. For the reds, it's the opposite. If it's a red candle, you know that the opening is the top and the closing is the bottom. So it's very easy to read these candles, and now you can kind of look and see how you read them throughout the two-hour time periods. So like here, there were a lot of losses in a row. Here, there were a lot of gains in a row. So let's talk a little bit more about the wicks. So this means that within this, for this candle right here, within this two-hour time period, even though it opened here, and it closed here, within that two-hour time period, it actually dipped even lower down here, and the high was actually up here. So what this means for you, like if you look here for a candle that had a really high wick, it would have been good to sell it at this height right here, and then look the next hour, it got all the way down here. So if you could have just sold this, if you could have sold Neo right here, and then bought it again down here, then you would have made probably a pretty significant amount of money if you had, you know, maybe a few thousand dollars into this. And this, when you see a high here and a low here, you know that that is what we call the dip. It's when basically a cryptocurrency takes a sharp drop, but then it comes right back to where it was. So obviously, if you look over here at the red candle and you see that at one point it got up here, but then, so it opened here, it went up, but then ultimately it ended way down here, then of course you're not going to want to sell it at the low price. So reading the candlesticks is very easy. This is a screenshot from Binance. Binance uses the candlestick charts. A lot of other places use different kinds of charts, but a candlestick chart Learning how to do this will not only help you in cryptocurrency, but also just regular stock trading as well, because a lot of stock websites use candlestick charts. So I hope this video has been very helpful. Uh, like I said, we're not focusing on anything in this video other than just the candles. So it's a pretty short video, but I hope this has helped you to understand what this is. I know when you first get into cryptocurrency, you go to Binance it looks like a foreign language to you. So we'll be going over in future videos what these different lines represent and other ways to read charts. And eventually we might even get into some chart analysis. So thanks for watching. Please drop us a comment. If you have any questions, I'll make sure to answer them. And until next time, get out there and make some money.